by heading to Venterstad and Overste. To reach Venterstad is about 60 kilometers, so I presume to get to Overste is going to be about 72 kilometers. Okay, and it's a big sky country. That's for sure. As we can clearly tell. It's astonishingly beautiful today. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, uh, Venterstad new for me, Overste new for me, so uh, let's go. Both places, never yes. been there before. Not a single bottle. Yeah. Love that. It's a little flat topped mountain. Yeah. Oh, and another one in the distance. And there's a very pointy one in the distance too. <laughs> Don't you love these clouds? Yeah. Oh. Puffiness. It's quite flat, eh? No, it is. Welcome to... Venterstadt. There we are. They have new speed bumps. Oh boy. To me, this looks like a hostel. Just the school, this side, I'm sure. Yeah. That would make sense then. SK High School. That must have been a hostel of some sort. I would think so, yes. The speed bumps have just been painted nicely recently. Yeah, this is a small town vibe, eh? When the side streets are gravel. <laughs> I love it. Me too. <laughs> Check the wide street. There was something here. This was someone's home. Oh, look at the steps leading yeah. up. Even the walls are gone. Sure. A lot of abandoned buildings here, eh? That looks like the town centre. We'll go down there now. Yeah. Very nice and plump. Yep. That's the little ones too. Yes, cute. Communications tower. Cell phone signal should be strong. No but cell it looks phone. like something is missing There's at the top. There's nothing, it's not finished yet. Oh. No, nothing on there yet. I seem to have signal. There's another tower at the further point there. Alright. I don't know what these are for. Okay, we're in the suburb. Yep. You were right, we should have turned right there. That's fine. Is that a little dam? Looks like it's a, a little reservoir, dam. Yeah. Look this. Is that a park? Looks like a preschool maybe. It is a park, yeah. Magistrate's office. Okay. And 
to the post office. Yeah. You know, you're in a small town when they still push their wire cars. Yes. I love that. <laughs> It takes two minutes and we're out of town. <laughs> we're through. Let's go try another one. Oh boy. The rugby field still seems alright. But the but buildings... The bull, no. Taken apart. Completely destroyed. You want to take a drive around? I do. We haven't done that in a while. I do want to. So I'm sure they can still play a game of soccer here. Yeah, or rugby even. At one time there were floodlights. Yeah. Winter Stadt is struggling. Yeah, it looks like it. Lines painted. Look at that. Some kind of lava. Yeah. Look, they had. Are these? Are they fences? I thought. I think oh, this might have been. Area. This was a thatch roof, I'm yes, sure. For sure. This was the stand, changing rooms. Yeah. Sure. I know more. There's nothing left here. Just a place for kids to play. Yep. And not play like in sports, just mess around. <laughs> they take pieces of the broken building and throw it onto the field. See who can throw it the furthest. like station buildings but I don't know. I don't Good shed. There are sheds where people could ride up and load off and load on things but I don't know if it had anything to do with the station. With no train tracks. No. Maybe like a delivery depot or something out of there. Okay. And this look all these shops. No. Only the one is still open. They have a filling station. That's good. We have gotten to towns that have no filling station. Exactly. derelict buildings here. That's Very another many. one, eh? Yeah. Town Hall, 1961. Town Hall! Ah, the church. Alright. Still looks good. Yeah, it does. Reform.
Reformed Church. Oh, really? Founded 16 June 1875. What? <gasps> Look at this. Voller Evangelie. Full Gospel? Yes. This is also old. Yeah. But this, look at this. Love this. Oh, these are such pretty houses. Look at these, babe. Imagine them back in the day. Oh. Because they've been around for a while. Oh. There's the town reservoir. Okay, that looks new. And this is a church. Again. What a pretty little building. Yeah, and these are St. Paul's Methodist Church. I think we'll come back to it as well. Yes. <laughs> so this is the school, I think, that we saw as we came in. Yes, it is. Wow, what a... They've got beautiful buildings here, eh? Pointing to more prosperous times. Yeah. Now it's got a fence around, but I see a cornerstone. Is there a cornerstone? Do you? Oh, I see what you... And that below, black. And below that window there, behind this tree. Yeah, but you know these fences make it so difficult, you'll have to get out. Yeah. These fences make it really difficult. Fenterstadt School Board. This stone was laid on the 1st of September 1912. That is an open gate. Yes, you over the fence, <laughs> through the fence. <laughs> it's only walking through. It's not wide open. Can't drive in. But you can walk in. Nineteen twelve, there is written in the cable. Look at that. Oh, so they celebrated the centenary on the twenty first of September, twenty twelve. So that makes three wheelbarrows that I've seen. Yeah, pushing for water. Yes. You spoke to the young boys, what did they say? I spoke to them now and they told me that the people have closed the water, they are striking, they've closed the water to the township uh, because there's no, there are no jobs for them. So they've closed the water supply to the town? To the township. But the town itself still has water so they have to push wheelbarrows downtown here to collect water and take it back to their houses in the township oh 
Oh, oh, is the township that way? Yes. Oh, okay, now I understand. You see students and teachers here today? Yes. On a Saturday? On a Saturday. I think what I want to do is I want to go back to that first little church at the back here. Okay. It is in the street, so that makes sense. Yes. I think if it was painted nicely, it would look so good. I love the double gable. Yes. Beautiful. Interesting choice of paint colours, but I think it's again the hand marks. Yes. Anglican and Methodist Church. Such a cute little steeple made out of sheet metal. Whitewashed, it's not plastered. It's not whitewashed, it's bagged with cement. Okay, that's cool. No cornerstone whatsoever. Very interesting that it's Anglican and Methodist. Yes, that is interesting. It's a cute, cute church. Oh, very. I love the little steeple. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> I chatted to a lady about yes. the water situation. She has a different take on it to the youngsters. Okay. She says that the municipality employed folks from out of town places like Petuli and Colesburg yeah. to come and work in town uh, and then the local folks got upset and they broke the water connection because they unemployed okay and they felt that work was given to out-of-towners now they're punishing their own community that just doesn't make sense to me so she's pushing the um, the firewood from a farm okay out out of town to the township. It's quite a distance yeah. to go with a wheelbarrow. This is the full, full gospel church. Full gospel. Yes. It's also quite an old building, eh? Yeah, I wonder if they still have services here. I, I would know. imagine so. There are curtains. They might just not have the funds for maintenance. You see now over there where the plaster is coming off the wall, he has brick. Yes. And he has like block. That other little Anglican and Methodist church is also blocked like this. It's just been washed 
with cement, brushed with cement. But look behind the block. Is brick. The same brick. Yeah. I thought this might have been an extension. Yeah. And it may have been. Let's go check out the reformed church. Open field here. Yeah. March 1877. What? The town was founded in 1875. So that makes total sense. Yes. What? See the gates open, I'll be able to go in. The town was laid out in 1875 and attained municipal status in 1895, 20 years later. That is wild. March 15, 1877. So this cornerstone was laid on the 19th of August, 1876. The congregation is from 19 August 1876. Yeah. Oh, so this is the names of the church committee and the building commission. in memory of Reverend W.J. Snyman, first minister of the Reformed Church here in Venterstad, 1876 to March 1914. Wow. Look at this pretty garden. So yeah, it's the Reformed Church Fentestad Centenary Celebration, 1875 to 1975. Wow. So we've got three dates here. 1875, 1876 and 1877. That's interesting. So maybe the congregation was started in 1875 then uh, Reverend Postma came here and established, uh, got grounds for where the, the church must be built in 1876 and the church was inaugurated in 1877. I've just made up my own story here now. They've got their own church hall, 24th of 
April 1985. Okay. Movements of Paul Creer. So, Groeikie Gert Creer. Groot Vader Stefanus Johannes. Vader Kasper Jan Hendrik. That's interesting. So this is, is this the movements of the Kriers? Paul Kriers family? This is so interesting. I had a few pine cones falling on the roof of the car. <laughs> I hope there's no dents. <laughs> so you say there's a variety of dates involved here? Yeah, yeah, and I did explain what my I thought it is. Okay. That on this board it also says 1875. Oh, does it? It does. So that, that's okay. We stick to 1875 then. Gestig 1875. Correct. So it was established, the congregation established in 1875. They started building the church in 1876. That's when the Postma laid the cornerstone and they inaugurated the church on the 15th of March, 1877. Great stuff. Summer services at nine, winter services at nine. So, yeah. No matter it's cold or hot, yep. nine. So, the Dutch Reformed Church remains undiscovered by us. Yeah. Municipality. Oh, okay. Joe Garby, District Municipality. Yeah. This building here on the corner, the side entrance like this, Is public what? library. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a nice building. Do you also get the feeling a lot of folks moved away here? Yep. Probably in search of employment. Yeah, this is a nice building. Yeah, I, I definitely get that feeling. Because some of the houses look as if they could have been very pretty. Look at this place, completely yeah. empty, windows broken. Oh, this is where we came in. Yep. We wanted to come back here. Yes, here yeah, we are. I wonder if there's any way to drive closer to it. Yes. I wonder what it's about. If you can get in, you're going to have to check it out. No, there's no way closer. The best is to go park on the tar road, I think. Or here, against the fence. Okay. Is it locked? Mm, it's fine, I can get in. Great stuff. Monument commemorates the heroes 
and here are when you fought against the apartheid regime the blood water the tree of freedom the actions led to the freedom of our country South Africa and a better life for all and Luta continue This is a memorial celebrating the lives of the people who fought in the struggle against apartheid. Did they pass away? Yeah, they've listed a, a whole list of names of people who passed away. Okay, from the area? Yes. Tennis courts at the back there. They were indeed. Yeah, check at the bowls green. is perfect. Now that is a surprise to me. Hey. So the bowling club works. Yes. It's still in excellent nick, eh? That is so interesting to see. to Kong it in. Yes. But it's so nice to see that it's functional. The green looks fantastic. Pleasant surprise to me that. Oh, a good surprise. <laughs> if you drive around Fenterstadt like you've been here a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> My first time. Just trying to get closer. Look how nice the green looks. Yeah. I can see that. Brilliant. Yeah. No one plays tennis anymore. Can that even be? It must be. 40 years before the town was laid out? It must be. Why, why would it not be? Because the town was only laid out in 1875. That could be the original farmhouse or part of the original farmhouse. Yeah, that date puzzles me a little. It does, eh? Uh, but it looks like, I don't know if someone's working on it. It does look like it, eh? But it's completely empty. We haven't been down this one yet. Ah. This is the police station. Yes. Oh, I think they have cells there. Oh boy. Just houses. Yeah. This is a farm. Looks like it is. Yeah. Eh? Okay, I think it is time for us to head out. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> They're all following a ram. 
They lost. No, they're not. They're all crying. No, just it's just a crash. That's all it is. Is he looking <laughs> after them today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, mommy. Cattle. Yep. So now what we're going to do is we're going through to Overston. Yes. So only 12 kilos to go. Let's go check it out. Yes. We did not expect this. No, we did not. It's a checkpoint. With a boom. Thank you. This is the Overston Nature Reserve. Nice, 40 kilometers an hour. Fantastic. Wildlife in the road and wildlife have right of way. Let's hope we spot stuff. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is unexpected. <laughs> yes, it is, eh? There are enough ostriches. Yes. Few males there and a lot of females. Yes, a lot of females. I wonder what else they have here. Probably small game. I think so. Antelope. Things like that. Yes. There, I think, are springbuck, yes. That's the closest I can zoom. Yeah, they're quite far away. They are I very see far four. Away. And there's water in the background there. Oh, is that part of the Kharib Dam? It's possible. I'm sure. Yeah, they're it's so far away. Yeah. Exciting to be so close to the Kharib Dam yes. again. Yes. <laughs> Cattle grid? Yes. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I s didn't understand. Now, this road goes to Stainsburg. And we go straight to Oost. Yeah. So, there must be another control point over there somewhere. Yes, I'm sure. Overston, Lake Harib. Lake Harib route. Yes. There's Overston in the distance. Nice. Welcome to Overston. Interesting. Listen, as we're driving into town, the Overston Nature Reserve is a protected area covers a distance of 16,000 hectares. Yep, check out Overston Nature Reserve. So I wonder if we're still in it because I, we haven't come across the checkpoint again. I think we're still in it. of the Kharib Dam is called Lake Kharib. Yes. Cool. Looks interesting. It does. Tuli Ridge Toll House. 1877. 
what? So they broke down the toll house, built something on top of it, on the foundation. And now it's destroyed as well. Am I reading this correctly? I think you are. I wonder what this was. I wonder if it was a wall of some sort, it looks like. Wow. Totally devastated. Tennis courts there at the back? Yeah. The Orange Fish Tunnel. Now, that, oh, that. <laughs> what, your breath taken away? That. This is incredible. Yeah. So this is all the Kharib Dam, all right? All the Kharib Dam, yeah. What so is that structure? i got no idea. It must have something to do with the operations of the dam. I'm going to get out and take a walk. Yeah, I thought you would. Look at this. Wow. I wonder what that is. Massive dam, massive dam. Look how far it stretches out there. Four kilometers. Now this is extremely interesting. I would say, pause this and read this. This is amazing. I think this is a great accomplishment. Now that concrete structure you see there, if you look at it from the top, it's shaped like a four-leafed clover. It's got four compartments. Okay. And that is the intake for the aqueduct tunnel that supplies down to the Tiabas River, down to the Eastern Cape, all of those, the Great Fish River, the Sundays River, all the water so that for irrigation, everything gets supplied from the Kharib Dam underground in tunnels. It's the sec second longest tunnel system for underground water in the world. That is an accomplishment. Seriously. So we've been to the Tiabas. We've been to the Sundays River. That water that flows there comes from here. Now that I've had time to process what you've said, all I can think of is the incredible people of this country mm -hmm. and what it has accomplished and what I hope it can still accomplish because that is an incredible story. Now if you think of when it was done in 1975. Unreal. And we've been to Tiabas. We've been to Sundays. The river. What Great other? Fish we've river. been there. And, and that's not around the corner. It's kilometers. Yeah. So when I looked up Overston, it said it's on the southern bank of the Kharib Dam. It was established in 1964 to 65 to accommodate workers on the Orange Fish River Tunnel. There you go. The name is derived from the Afrikaans, Waranya Fish Tunnel, Orange Fish Tunnel, near the entrance to which it is situated. Overston. Mm -hmm. Waranya Fish. Oranya first tunnel. Oh, I've just nerves. realized that now myself. I only did as I read it. Yeah, it's wild. It is wild. This is one of those times that I'm blown away by the infrastructure in South Africa. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Wild. Very wild. So, um,. Uh, I would imagine that it was intended to be a temporary town and then uh, the folks stayed on. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but there's not much more I can find online. Yeah. 
go down yet. Okay. Will he note Crescent? Oh, I would imagine some of them have fantastic dam views. Yes. Let's see if we see any temporary houses. Yeah. Oh, tennis courts. Okay. That was one. They are all temporary. The garages are built out of brick, but the houses are prefab. All right. This one's empty. That one's vacant, yes. I have to go, yeah. Orange fish tunnel. This goes to that clover. Completed, 1975. Purpose irrigation, household and industrial, enclosed aqueduct. Tunnel length, 82.8 kilometers. That's wild, eh? Great fish on the Sundays. Wow. But there is a lot of destruction. Yeah. Um, like 300 meters from the great orange fish tunnel we is, see this, is this yeah. that a historical building dated 1877 has been destroyed that angers me yeah interesting castle like entrance yes. structure Siloam village. Oh, accommodation. Okay. Alright. Team building and all of that. Okay, cool. You tell me. Left. Because normally I take the opposite one you're thinking of. Which one were you thinking? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point. Can you stop and reverse? Yes, ma'am. I don't know if I look properly, but this is a first for me. There's a watch above this house's garden gate. <laughs> so I you clock in when you come and visit. Yep. Um, yeah, it's five past ten. That's just tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> I find that rather funny. Oh, I picked a cul-de-sac. Go down, yeah. Look how nice this is. Are you looking to see if they're all temporary? There's temporary, some are not. Okay, some are brick? Yes. That's temporary. Or not temporary, prefab. Yep. This one's prefab, but it's also got a bit of a brick structure to it as well. Most are still prefabricated. prefabricated yes. Yeah. I find that so interesting because that is the history of the town. Yep. Every now and again I get a glimpse of the dam, or shall I call it the lake? Kharib. Oh, that was a foundation. Something. I was hoping I'd find this road. Okay, shall we go check out Lake Kharib? Let's do it. Resort. Let's see if they are still functional and if they'll let us in. Oh. It's a shame that we should have to think like that. Yep. Please don't tell me this is the Lake Kharib Resort. It's all gone. 
can't see what it said. But what I do see, that could have been a chalet. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. That could have been a chalet. Yep. You're right. I thought it for sure yeah. is still operational. Was the signs we saw leading to it look great on the along the road? From Venterstadt already yes. we saw signs pointing to the Lake Harib Resort. Now there's nothing left here. Nothing. It's Lake Harib. What a cool spot. Must have been a beautiful resort in its day, huh? This is where they launched their speedboats and things like that. I'm very sad by this. Oh. I know that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing left. Those must have been such nice little chalets, eh? Can you imagine? Yeah. Looks fine. Yes. Vehicles drive here. Yeah, it looks like it, eh? But that security point checkpoint is abandoned, you can see. Utterly and completely. I wonder if this was another resort. Because no, I think it's all part of the same resort. You think? Yes. I think it's all part of the same resort. Is there remnants of a play park? Oh yeah, well, this is the resort. That's the camping sites. Look at the electrical points. Yes. Dry spots. Yes. Oh. That was a pool, I can tell you now. Oh yes. Look at this. Look at this. Imagine camping here. Made of stone. Someone put so much into this place. Look at the, the stands are demarcated yes. here with little stone walls. A little thatch lava with a bride. Yeah. Such views eh, of the dam, the lake. That's what those um, camping spots, they just floored me. Imagine camping here. Yeah. I wonder how many years it's been. Yeah, it's been a while. Look at those thatched rooms. Uh, Little. Oh. See, this one still has a roof. Yeah, it's protected by the trees, that's why. Unless folks live here, then that's also possible. Well, there's car tracks coming in here. Yeah, there are people living here. Yes. I expected that. Hi there. Are you security here? So this place doesn't function anymore. So the security guy just confirmed for us that it is the old Lake Harib Resort. And he's stationed here to protect those two buildings and this one. Yeah, those, I think those are the ablution facilities for the camping site. But uh. he says it's too late already. It's all been vandalized already. And he says it's municipal property, right? Yes, he said it belongs to the municipality. Sure. I was convinced it's operational because of all the boards. Yes. Look at all the roses in this person's garden. Beautiful garden, eh? Yeah. Hey? Oh, wow. She 
Yeah. This person may not have roses, but he has a big boat. Yeah. Are we about to head out? No, I first want to see this place. What's it called again? Siloam Village. Yes, let's see if we can go in. where they do the team building and things like that. Yes. How nice. Lake Park, Fisherman Cabin, Olive Tree, Main Aunt Suite. Oh, they have accommodation as well. Yeah. Very cool spot. Oh, this is very nice, eh? Yeah, dining hall. Oh, you see what happens. Groups come and, and stay here. Yes. Probably, and then do the team building. Team building and come for retreats and stuff like that. That's fantastic. There's a pool, a pool there. Yes. Hmm. This is cool. I like the stone they used everywhere. It's really, look here, they've got these high poles, must probably climb up and swing with ropes yeah. and whatnot all over here. <laughs> I also had that thought. <laughs> and you're going to help someone else. That's the team building yes, part of it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Camaraderie. Yeah, group accommodation, team building, adventure, venue, B&B, camps. It looks like a, a place for adventure. Yeah, it does. For the physically able. <laughs> I won't be scaling one of those poles anytime yeah. soon. Are heading out of Overston, backtracking to Fenderstadt. Yes. And then we have a long, long, long road ahead of us home. Yep, we're heading to Strand. <laughs> so before I forget, because I I like to do this, Fenderstadt. I forgot to say who the town was named after. Okay. It was named after Johannes J. T. Fenter, who was the owner of the land on which Fenterstadt was established. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I wanted to share that. Interesting, we just spoke to a gentleman who's been living here for about five years and I asked him what keeps them in Overston and he basically told me the way of life. He says it's just calm, relaxed, they get along with their neighbors, the community is nice. He says the safety and the security there is incredible because you've got one road in and you've got the dam on the other side, so it's really secure. And then um, I asked him what do they do to make a living? And he says that, well, he, he people, some people work in Fenterstadt, others are retired. And um, so it seems like it's just a chill, relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. And other people do make products and stuff from home that they sell. Um, they go for shopping to Fenterstadt or bigger shopping to Burgersdorf. And um, he says a lady started baking bread in Fenterstadt and every Tuesday he takes orders from the folks in town and he drives through and they pay 10, 11 Rand for a loaf of bread, yeah. which is almost like half of what we pay exactly, in, in yeah. the city. And they buy eggs and, and uh, like fresh raw milk in Burgersdorf. And it just sounds like they're working towards self-sustainability. Yes, that's what they do. Wonderful. Yes, here it is. Look at this. A gentleman in one of the places we visited earlier today told me about this spot. Apparently an Italian gentleman was working here at Overston on the tunnel and he went to go pick up his wife in Bloemfontein at the airport 
and they were traveling down this road on their way back to Overston and they had a motor car accident and she was killed here and he put this up here for her and it's still here and someone comes and puts in flowers all the time eh? go read that inscription on the side okay then we're going to have a look flower garden Respect the eternal memory of my wife, George Galian Chilis. Something Greek of 22 and I can't make out. So it's not Italian, it's Greek. 21, 6, 1972. Sleep in peace. Oh, so it was a Greek man, not Italian, in memory of his wife. Oh, wow. Ter herinnering aan my vrou, Georgia. Sy was a Griek van 22 jaar, wat hier in een ongeluk omgekom het. Op die 21ste van die 6e, 1972, Rus in Vrede. So his wife was Greek and he was maybe Italian. Oh, how special. 22 years old, eh? So she was born in 1950. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad we found it. Yes. He said it's the only tree between Fenterstadt and Carlsberg. Yeah. <laughs> and it was nearly right as well, eh? Yes. <laughs> This is our place for tonight, yeah, in Beaufort West. It is 1937 or nearly 20 to 8 Saturday evening just before the rugby game, the World Cup final between South Africa and New Zealand and I had to find a place to stay overnight to have to watch this game. Can't miss it. By the time you see this, we'll know the results long time. Oh, nice and comfy. This is our meal for this evening. What we bought at the Spur. Spare ribs, onion rings, chips, crumb mushrooms and buffalo thighs. And uh, we are going to be having this feast while we're watching the final between the box and New Zealand. Go Boca! Yeah, yeah! We are back in Strand and we had an amazing trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We saw some amazing places. Um, what I'm going to do now is put some pictures in here to show you what the good looks like before I have it washed and after I have it washed. It's filthy. I'm going to offload the car now and um, get ready to go and clean the car and we will see you guys in the next episode.